All right, YouTube. Episode two. Subs in the 6.5 inch sub in the Jeep. Went and picked up an amplifier kit. It's nothing fancy. It's just from Walmart, but hey, this isn't going to be a big elaborate Steve Mead system. Steve Mead system. Woo -woo. That's the sound system. So we're not going to be using this guy. There's no need for that, for that little sub that's in there. So this is going to get put back away for a later date. I'm even thinking this might be too much. We're going to be using that because I don't want to put a head unit in there. Not the best bet, but let's call it a budget build. Just a little boom boom. Also, got some speaker wire. Yee. It's a little something that you might not see right away. Yep, I'm into guns. And yes, I work hard every day. I don't film my normal job because we're too busy. And my boss would probably kick my ass right out the door. We're, uh, we're in the back of the Jeep now, facing the back end of the box. The sub faces out towards the back hatch. Before you run any wires, it's always a good idea to lay out where you want this to go. So you know exactly how much wire to cut and you're not selling yourself short and having to go spend more money on more wire. I don't know where I even want to mount this stuff yet. Well, this ain't gonna be the prettiest build, but it'll do for now. And I don't plan on keeping this much longer, this Jeep. that'll be just fine right there. You can see I'm putting a spacer mm -hmm. here so the amp's not flush up, up against the wood. This is so it helps it from keeping cool, letting air flow. Remote wire. Get that out of the way. Now the ground wire that came in the kit is really, really short. So I don't know if we're going to be using that or not. Um, we're not going to be tapping into the rear door speakers. I found a plug and play 
amplifier adapter for this Patriot. It just plugs right into the, it's a different wiring harness. I'll throw up a picture of it. It plugs right into the wiring harness and then you can just run your RCAs to that. Bada boom, bada bang. I think it was 20 bucks. Um, let's see here. RCAs ran. Or remote wires ran. RCAs are connected. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet if I'm going to run dual fuses. I might end up doing that just because. But right now I got to figure out if I'm going to use that ground wire, this ground wire, being how short it is, or do a different one. I'm going to mount the fuse somewhere in a good spot. So I'm thinking this is the top of my fuse box. I'm thinking I'm going to put two little screws in and hold it right there. It's not blocking any of the stuff you need, what fuses are where.
go to hook up when everything's hooked up and ready to go we can just boom and we got power for now i'm gonna tuck that right there okay so we got the power wire ran we had to pull back the plastic trim pieces this isn't the ideal way of doing it, but this is, like I said, nothing fancy. Budget. What you can do with a budget for a sound system. And it's gonna go, it's gonna tie in to a video that hasn't been posted yet about when I built the box titled, Will It Hit? Because that's a tiny little subwoofer, as you can tell. It's a small guy, but uh, we'll see. And, um, yeah, this is just for test purposes to see if it'll hit. I got something in mind. It's gonna take its place and it's the same size, but it's 800 watts. Put in the comments below what you think it is. If you guess it right, I'll pick someone and send you a decal. All right, so it comes up through there. It's all hidden. And then it's gonna poke out, you can see it. It's going to turn out right there into the fuse. Man, it's hot in Michigan today. It's like 90 some degrees. Good thing I know how to stay hydrated with a good drink. <sighs> Y'all love you some Red Bull? Man, I love me some Red Bull. Anyway, speaker wire. Okay. There's a, a negative and positives coming out off the mini sub. Got us some good old Walmart special shit speaker wire because I'm not spending the big bucks on this little build, but it'll do for now. 16 gauge. And the color's pretty cool too.
So what I like to do is, before, when you go to twist it, I crimp, I, I take the cutters here. Damn it. Okay, if it doesn't fall out, I'll show you the next one. But a lot of times, something like that'll happen, you go and get a little poke. I don't mind it, but some of you, someone out there might not like the feeling of it. So what you do, if it doesn't come off, before you pull it off, twist it up with that. But if you don't mind, or you just need whatever, just whatever, I guess. get I think it was this one I don't know if y'all seen that, but that was a GTO with fucking drag slicks on it. That was sweet. All right, ladies and germs. I've done what I can do. We're cutting it. Wires are in where I can get them in. Nothing's really ran except for this wire here power wire um yeah this is it for episode two of putting subs in the jeep the patriot banger let's call it that patriot banger banging for that red white and blue red white and blue that's a wrap on this video episode two of putting some bass in the patriot all right, must catch you on the next one.